and welcome to a cat staring at me. Boop. <laughs> Hello guys. So in case you weren't aware, we just passed the 1,000 subscriber mark. Thank you all for subscribing and for watching and following and commenting and all the stuff you guys do. You are all amazing and I thank every one of you if I could. But if you say hello in the comments, I will say thank you back in the comments. Go on, you know you want to. Anyway, so a couple of things have happened. Smudge has just said to run off just before, as I started filming. So I was going to give you a little quick cat cam beforehand, but nope, he has, he, he has, he has indeed gone. In that case, have a Toby cam. Hi, Toby. Hello, Toby. Toby decided to sit there recently, making it very awkward for recording. So I have to edit that. I have to cut that entire half of the piece of screen there out it's kind of annoying anyway <laughs> welcome to the 1000th little video now what i said i would do a long while ago was when i got time i would record a, a walkthrough of the house because some people have asked me before to do it and i said yeah i'll do it but only when i get my own place and if you remember in like december november probably um the people lived here before they moved out making this my place so there's nobody else living here just me i thought you know what i'll record that so in december I recorded it. I haven't had time to edit it until now. So what I've decided to do is for the 1000th, not a special, but just as a 1000th thank you for subscribing, I will give you the walkthrough video and this is a video of it. So let's get started on that, shall we? This is a small village in, uh, in Lincolnshire that I live in and I think you'll agree that the, uh, the view is Let's go with very, very nice. I just adore the view. The the view from this is from actually the back garden, just looking out into the uh, into the into the distance. Basically, it's about, about ten miles to the nearest uh, visible location uh, over in that distance. Uh, the tree lines are about a mile away. So yeah, <clears throat> um, it's a very, very nice um, view. As you can see, the conservatory on the side of the house. This is where I did all of my uh, recording time. And hello, Smudget, who ran away in real life and just came out in the recording. Ah, it's almost like he knew. <laughs> so yeah, here's the little conservatory. It's where I did all of my recordings. And you'll remember it from the rain on the roof, how it has a glass roof. As you can see, not that much in there. It's just a, a couch to sit on, look out the window in the summer. Some cat beds and a box for the cats to jump in and tear apart. They love tearing boxes apart. And that is where I did all of my recordings for the first two years. In that little corner there. The table's different. I changed the table out for something just to eat off of. But uh, that is uh, where it was. And yeah, it was just that little corner there with the cat with this, this green screen was right across here. It's actually a part of the green screen there, which I cut off because the cats seem to love the material to sleep on for some reason. And you see, my, uh, my dad likes to make his own wine as well. Cats have got their stuff. There's my sweets for Christmas there, which I uh, have all eaten by now. It is now, of course, February. Uh, we've got normal cookers and stuff, and the fridge with all my little drinks in there that I have during the live streams. My uh, oven glove, which is actually a Terminator oven glove. So it's got the little Terminator metal grids over its hands. And yes, all the things you need in order to survive in the modern world. Like I said, big ass cardboard box is actually the box that the cats eat their food on top of because they like to, well, one of them does, and they like to jump up there. And I'm saying my dad makes his own wine and keeps it with me because I've got the spare space to store it. So it's useful because obviously he's, he doesn't have that much room. So all my energy drinks are there. I keep, well, not energy drinks, they're just genuine drinks. They're over there in the little mini fridge. And I've got the kettle to make tea because obviously British must have tea. There is actually a coffee machine in the kitchen as well, but uh, as you can imagine, it doesn't get much use compared to the kettle does. And there we have the living room. This is where we are right this very second. This behind me is actually the living room you can't see because there's a green screen. But trust me, it's the living room. This here, here's the living room. And as you can see, it's a bit sparse because I actually have no real need for anything else. So it's mostly just a cat playroom at that point. Around here, however, we have my computer setup. This is what my computer setup looks like almost right now. What it looks like. The only difference is I have moved the microphone onto an arm. In fact, the arm is, if I just move the thing, there is the microphone right now, just on a boom arm going down between the table and the teddy bear. So you'll see that in a moment where it should be, but you'll get the point. Green screen thingy, and then there's cat hammock number one. That hammock there is actually right at the side of me, right here now. I've moved it because Spudge wouldn't get in it where it was. He, he wants to be near me. Oh, yes. He, he does like to be nearby. And we have Molly, who is just keeping her head down and doesn't even know I was doing the house tour because, you know, cats and when they're asleep, they're basically dead to the world. <laughs> they haven't got a clue what you're doing. 
All right. So as you can see, my chair is over there. It has a black blob in it. That black blob is Toby, who is currently here. Hey, Toby. And uh, it is one of my biggest problems sometimes to uh, try and sit down. It's like, I want to go do something. There's a cat in my seat. Damn it. <laughs> this just show you that that was it. that's where I normally record. When I have the green screen up for recording, it's literally like this. It takes up a lot of the room behind me. I can't put it far back because the camera can then see the top of it or the side of it. It kind of gets in the way. And the lamps, I mean, the green screen lamps, I'm literally using your know, two Ikea lamps. Uh, normal box standard lamps. That's all they are. Watch. Beep. There we go. That is all they are. In fact, let me show you what they what look like from behind. What you would normally see if I turned off the uh, green screen chroma keying stuff. Because if I turn that off, what you would actually see is... Dun, 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 dun. Green screen! Yeah, it's just a piece of green cloth. It's got a lot of ripples in it, but the green screen doesn't seem to care too much. That little footrest there just going past, that is actually currently got uh, Polly asleep on it. She's uh, happy, and there's Toby, completely unconscious, unaware that again I was recording. PC over there, my Firefly collection. This was actually recorded while my internet was down, so what you can see there is Discord on the left monitor saying, I can't connect, I can't connect, and the router stats on the right end screen. And there's my Kaylee Bear. I call it Kaylee Bear because it's Kaylee from Firefly. Um, she had that little bear in the in the engine room, and it's the, it's the bear from the, the Firefly engine room, so it's I call it Kaylee Bear. <laughs> there's the, uh, the blue microphone, that's what you're actually hearing me on right now. It is now up here. And, uh, yeah, so it's got that... Uh, <clears throat> That clear audio because it's a decent microphone. And my little pride, I love this little thing. It is the Firefly model craft that uh, was, came through from a Firefly loop fit, along with my games controller that uh, I don't use it often. It's just there. Down here we have something you'll all recognise. It is the PC. It is water-cooled. Two uh, radiators, one 240mm and one 360mm. Radiator, dual fans on each. Uh, there's my little Firefly collection. Yes, they're amazing. Look at them. <laughs> Especially like the bigger the to um, models. They're uh, much nicer. Up here we have a random little uh, cat figure thingy, which I'm not even sure where it came from, but it's there nonetheless. <laughs> it's just staring down at me. Down here we can see the internet connection on the left. is just our normal router. On the right is our uh, Netgear gigabit uh, switch. So we've got internet access at high-speed local network access for uploading all those recordings to a local storage array. Because I don't keep the recordings on my uh, PC in case the PC would have issues. Okay, green screen out of the way. Let's go investigate the part of the house you never get to see because there's no reason you would ever want to see it. It is the upstairs area. Dum dum dum. Stairs! <laughs> I do indeed like a bit of greenery in my house. I can see I have a big ass uh, green plant there. I love, I just love green plants. Not flowers, green plants. That is a very nice plant. It needs a bit of a trim apparently. But uh, yeah, I love, I just love the green. I mean, you'll if you ever saw my garden in summer, you'll notice it's mostly just green plants, not flowering plants. Just like this, there's a lot of spider plants and stuff that are outside the window on the second floor. You get this view at the same place as before, but my god. Big ass green tree there, looks gorgeous in the summer, and it's just the view goes on for, for miles. Yes. Okay, so green being done, we have the spare room. This is going to be, when I get time, and I've been like four months now and out of time yet, going to be my office at some point in the future. It's just getting myself time to actually move the table, because that's actually the hardest part, it's just literally move the table. Um, it's a, not a big table, in, well it's a biggish table, but it's not that problem. But when I do get my desk in here, this is the office view. Where I will see every day while working, I will just look out of my window and go, Oh, that's just nice, isn't it? Yes. So you see why I want to move into the office? It looks so much nicer than, uh, than you know, well it's not a very nice view anyway. So there we go. So that is the, uh, the new office. I haven't moved into there yet, so there's not you no know, change in there. Bathroom, nothing special there. Toilet, bath, sink on the left-hand side. Literally nothing special about a bathroom. And then we go into my bedroom slash office. The place where I spend so much of my time. But most importantly, we have my little book collection, which is just like programming stuff to help fill the stuff. My Firefly books. I have read two of them. I need to read the third one sometime soon. And they're quite nice, actually. I do like the stories in them. They do continue the series very nicely. And then we get to my office desk and my bed. 
bed with all the sleeping, although I think cats sleep in it more than I do. There's usually there's like three of them there during the day. And there's the desk, the office desk. Okay, so there's my desk. There is my 3D printer, my little uh, my headphones I wear all day long. Uh, my little Dalek, who's currently being printed, and uh, is basically done just his painting for the most part. Desk phone for making phone calls, you know, the normal stuff. Uh, we have my collection of little toys and stuff that I keep on my desk to keep myself happy and sane during the day. Back to the Future, Futurama, Firefly, ba Batman, Kerbals, Cup of Tea waiting to be drunk, though it's actually been drunk. Crappy little keyboard I work on rather than a proper mechanical. And my dual monitor for working with. There's some emails and uh, router steps again. Internet was down, so, you know, reasons. Poster on the wall, just to keep me sane. You can't take the sky from me. Yes. My uh, clock, so I can tell what time it is to come down and play games and record for you all. It's got my Kerbal and Firefly logos that I printed them below them. My couple of pieces, my couple of pieces of uh, decoration are a sound card that no longer works, but I think looks absolutely nice actually as a as a card, and a photograph I took with my DSLR, which I think is absolutely great. I just love the uh, the insect. It was a, a, a flyer fly that just lands randomly around. A TV it came with the house has never been turned on. Uh, there's the uh, the router that does the upstairs internet connection, and there's the server system that I have. Two UPSs, a monitor to maintain it, and then we have in here. If you've been playing on the multiplayer servers, this is where most of them are held. Let's just have a look inside. So there, in here there are two servers, two switches and backups. There we go. So in here, the actual top unit, one with the flashing uh, green, uh, blue light, uh, uh, switches, they have all the internet, all the network capabilities, but not even using the second one. The top server here is what's currently running like the Minecraft server, the Space Engineer server and the Factorial server. This is a backup unit down here, just to back up all the data ups in case things fail. But yeah, so we've got a lot of uh, lot of server equipment here that most people just wouldn't have. Now you remember the view out of my new office? Well, the view out of my current office where I sit every day is a little less impressive, but still very nice nonetheless. There's the uh, the street going up the road, and there's my neighbours over the road, and then the other angle I get to see if I look out in the right direction. So, there's my car. Hello, my car. Da -da -da. Dun, dun, dun. Back downstairs. Hi Molly, how you doing? Oop, green screen bolt, then we'll walk into that one. And there we go, that's been the house tour. So it's been a long time coming for you guys. I hope you've enjoyed it, because it was you know, something I've been wanting to do for a while for you guys. And let me know what you thought of it. And uh, But let me know what you thought of it, what you think of this. And thank you all again for the 1,000 subscribers. I will see you all in the next episodes of everything else we're doing. But until then... Comments in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>